In this session, we will review the Manage Timesheet screen, which can be found under People, Labor, and Timesheet Entry Creation. Use this screen to create new timesheets or make adjustments to existing unposted timesheets. Timesheets can also be imported from external sources and maintained in this screen. Click on the Query button to access an existing record. Enter data in the Find and or Query tabs to filter your results. Next, click on the Find button, then double-click a record to open it in Form View. The upper portion of the form is the timesheet header. The header holds the timesheet date, employee ID, type of timesheet, and accounting period. The sequence number field is used to uniquely identify the combination of employee ID, timesheet date, and timesheet type. The system allows for up to nine sequence numbers for any combination of employee ID, timesheet date, and timesheet type. There is an exemption for correcting timesheets, which allow up to 99 sequence numbers. Use the hours section of the header to enter total number of regular and other hours. Other hours usually consist of overtime. CostPoint compares the hours entered here against the hours entered in the Details section to avoid data entry errors. You will not be able to save a timesheet unless the total hours match. The Employee Information section displays data from the employee's record that may be relevant to process the timesheet rules. The Timesheet Line Totals section displays the total hours entered in the Details section. The Status section will identify which labor hour processes have been completed for the timesheet. The Reference section is used to reference another timesheet that is related to this timesheet, for example, when entering a correcting timesheet. You would enter the date and sequence number of the original timesheet in these fields. The Auto Adjust button adjusts the labor rate and hourly rate to the employee's salary amount assuming the Auto Adjust percentage field is set to 100. Otherwise, it will adjust the rates based on the percentage entered. The Generate Fringe button creates a timesheet line to handle fringe. This feature is enabled when the Manage Wage Determination Rate setup is used to populate the timesheet and the fringe payment method is set to cash. The Standard Variance button creates a new line with the variance between the total labor cost at the effective rate and the employee's salary amount. The Prorate button prorates a salaried employee's timesheet based on their work schedule and only applies to regular and correcting timesheets. The lower half of the form is the timesheet line area. This is where detailed information such as project, account, org, labor categories, pay types, hours, costs, labor locations, and or workers' comp codes are entered. A timesheet cannot be saved until at least one timesheet line is entered. This completes our session on the Manage Timesheet screen.